Thursdays. So we're going to do another series, RLC, but what's the benefit of doing all this? Practice, Practice calculating power. So we have three different frequencies. What was one of the questions I asked you about frequency? I asked you what? What this was, the resonant frequency? How do we find it? 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC. Well, there's L, there's C. L is 239 micro, C is 106 pico. Plug that in the formula. Resonant frequency is what? What? It's like 999.99 kHz is basically 1 megahertz, isn't it? Hey, guess what? You think there's a reason why we're doing that? What the little exercise is here? That is the center frequency. Hey, look. 800 kHz, 1.2 megahertz. What's the bandwidth, if you will? 200. 200 kHz. Okay. So we have a frequency below and a frequency above resonance, don't we? Yes, we do. That's part of the little exercise here. Now, we had to solve this thing three times, didn't we? Yeah, at each of the different frequencies. The potential, the three volts peak to peak is the same for all three. The values good are the same for all three. It's just three different frequencies. Because we know when we change frequency in an AC circuit, uh, guess what's going to happen? Your reactive components are going to react accordingly. So, 800 K hertz. It's just a series RLC circuit, isn't it? It is. So we're going to go and list the answers, but we're going to skip over the RMS values first. We'll go back to them. Okay, well, we'll just do, we'll skip the RMS and VR. 44.1 million millivolts. DL. 5.29 VC. 8.29 volts VC. Okay, VNet, take the difference here. 3 volts VC. Okay. And then we'll just go on your right up here. We'll do the angle. What's the angle? Negative 89.16. Okay, just write it down here. And we got 89, close enough. Yeah, negative 89. Okay. As far as that goes, everyone good so far? Just the basic stuff we've been solving up to this point. Now, in order to solve for power, I even wrote this on the board yesterday. Things to think about. What do we have to do first? We have to convert to RMS. What are we converting to RMS? All of the what? Yep, all the voltages in the currents, in the circuit. We have to before we can even find this. We have to. So. I hope somebody wrote it down somewhere, your conversions, because we're going to fill it in. You have those? Okay, who's got everything? Good job, Hedger, Riley, and uh, Strickland, and good job. We're going to go with Hedger, because you're, you're the shit. Are you? Are you the shit? I am, sir. Good. <laughs> so now, before he... Before he reveals the answer, we have to convert to RMS. How do we do it? As a reminder, how do we find the RMS value by total? It's the same. Don't we take, because these are all peak to peak values, aren't they? Current and voltage, peak to peak divided by 2 times what? You have to do that. Times 0.707. If every one of these, you have to before you can even find that. So, total current RMS, what is it? 1.59 V per Yeah, I got 5, 6. Close enough. Yeah, it's a little bit milliamps. Really it's not peak to peak anymore, is it? No. It's RMS, because that's what we just converted to. It's RMS values now. 
So what's VR? What you got? Don't want to mess for that. 5.59 million volts. You've got something different. What you got? 15.55 million volts RMS. Yep. It's 15.59 million volts RMS. How do we find that? 44.1 milli divided by 2 to get the peak value times 0 0.707. That's the answer. The voltage of the inductor across the inductor, it's RMS value. How do we find it? We have to take the peak to peak value, 5.29 divided by 2. Multiply that by 0 0.707. What's the answer? Who thinks they got that one? McCarter. Um, uh, I got 1.87 volts. Uh-huh. Uh, no, nope. RMS. There you go. 1.87 volts RMS. Capacitor, voltage, RMS. We've got that uh, feller. What you got? There you go. 2.93 volts RMS. There we go. Are we getting a, are we getting a hang? Yeah, you have to do that. You have to. You can't find those without the RMS values. And then for giggles, we got VNet. Well, we know VNet's 3 volts peak to peak. Divide that in half times 0 0.707. What you got? 1.06. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. 1.06 volts RMS. Guess what? That's also the source RMS value because I'm going to show you something later. Same thing, right? They're both 3 volts peak to peak, so I can go ahead and write 1.06 volts RMS for the source, and I'm going to show you something later. Can we solve for power finally? Yes! How do we find PXL? What's the formula? Like using pi, power pi. Here, let me write that over here, just to remind everybody. I times E is power, isn't it? Can we take the RMS total current and multiply it by the inductor voltage, the RMS, where is it? The RMS value? Yes. We have to use the RMS value. So it's current RMS times inductor voltage RMS to find PXL. The inductive reactive what? Power. Who's got the answer? Somebody different. Porter. 2.92 milliwatts. Really? What's the unit of measure? Four! Don't forget! Don't forget! Reactive power! It's R, it's not watts. But the 2.92 milli is correct, though. Four! Got to do it right. Because guess what? Here's something. I told you the, the numbers on distractors will not be like so close. But guess what? Could screw you up. 2.92 millibar could be an answer. 2.92 milliwatts could be an answer. 2.92 bar could be an answer. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Or distractor, that is. PXC, it's the same thing. We have to take total current RMS. Pi, multiply that times V C R M S. Answer. You got it. Really? Somebody better start freaking like answering these damn questions. Gosh, what you got? 4.58 milli bars. I like it. Close enough. Bar. How do you think we find PXNet? Just take the difference between these two, that's it. Here's the question of the day. If you're given PXL, the value, and you're given PXC, the value, and the answer to the question is, hey, what's PXNet, and you're given these two, do you have to convert anything? No. No, it's already done. Take the difference. What is it? PXNet. We got it. Uh, Mr. Riley, what you got? 1.66 bar. Close enough. Milli, yeah, it's still bar because it says PX. How do we find PR? What do we got to do? What's the percentage?